Toronto Blue Jays hosting the Chicago Cubs. The Cubs are plus 189 on the money line. The Blue Jays are minus 210. The over-under is eight runs. Chicago getting a run and a half or minus 120, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Toronto laying a run and a half or plus 100, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two. Stroman did not pitch against the uh, Blue Jays last year or this year. Gosman did pitch against the Cubs last year. It was as a member of the Giants. Seven innings, two runs, no earned. They won that game four to three. Six innings, three runs, three earned. They won that game 15 to four in Chicago. The Cubs are 67 and 62 on the run line, five games over 500. They've lost their last three games. They are three and seven in their last 10. And they are 27 and 36 on the road. They are five and 13 with Stroman on the mound. The over is hit in his last four games. And the over is 11 and seven in the games in which he pitches in. The Blue Jays are 50, uh, 54 and 73 on the run line. They've won their last game. They're 6 and 4 in their last 10. They are 37 and 28 at home. They have won uh, Gosman's last two starts. They're 13 and 11 with him on the mound. And the under is 12, 11, and 1 in the games in which he pitches in. Head to head, the home team is on a seven game winning streak. These teams are 5 and 5 against each other in their last 10. The underdog getting a run and a half is 6 and 4. There have been four one-run games in their last 10 meetings, including the last three that they've played against each other. The over is 5-3-2. and two. That's what the casino sets it at. And the over 8 is 6-2-2. Two and two. I'm going to go Toronto with the money line. Toronto laying the runs and the over. I know this is the perfect series to hedge, but I just don't trust the Cubs like that. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.